Ten years ago, Moulton, like so many similar market towns, seemed to be on its knees. Big retailers were leaving, unable to turn a profit in the face of online shopping and retail parks opening up in York, Leeds and Scarborough. But today, Moulton is thriving. We're here at the monthly food market, which has proved very popular running alongside the weekly Saturday market. Moulton, rebranded the food capital of Yorkshire, is home to many local enterprises and recent startups. So we're here to find out what went so right in Moulton, to talk to who was responsible and chat to the traders who make it what it is today. And hopefully try some of that delicious food. Mine's the oysters, guys. Got that? Tom, tell us about Moulton um, <laughs> and how it began. Well, so 12 years ago, um, we had a, uh, a bit of a problem, which is that uh, Moulton, uh, like many other British market towns, little towns, had quite a lot of empty shops. Mm -hmm. And um, we needed a uh, reason to give people a reason, a USP, I'm sorry, a horrible phrase, but um, to come to Moulton. Um, food seemed to be the obvious thing because the produce around here is so fantastic. The natural produce. So, you know, 18 miles from here, you've got the coast, you've got lobsters and crabs. Amazing, more shellfish coming off the coast there than anywhere else in Europe. You've got amazing grouse, pheasant, partridge, um, have a venison, um, you've got rare bird cattle Amazing. and pigs, you've got wonderful fruit and organic fruit and veg, breads, anyway, beers, all of this stuff. My, when I uh, lived in London, I noticed that it was being promoted in Borough Market. So yeah. you had people there saying, oh, we've got Yorkshire, uh, we've got a brace of Yorkshire partridges, we've got some Yorkshire lobsters. I found out also that the, the ginger pig butcher it's a posh butcher. Yes, I've one seen that one. In one. Yeah. <laughs> Their farm is eight miles up the road from here, right. where the rare breed cattle and pigs are farmed. And so it made sense that, you know, the food was the thing. So we started 12 years ago and we started with a um, food festival. Yep. And in year one, it was kind of small. We got a thousand people to come and 25 stalls now we get over 40,000 people it's amazing we developed the, a mini version of the food festival called Malton monthly food market which is on today um, and there are a few people coming in which is great um, uh, we, we developed the, the food market and that runs on the second Saturday of every month and the big festival has 180 stalls this will have 30 to 40 stalls and we'll get perhaps two three 4,000 people during the course of the day. And for a little town that's like Malton, that's a really yeah. helpful extra injection of, of um, extra football. So these are Bridlington crabs? Yeah, they're just like the fish for like in deeper waters because you get like them crabs, which are like the whole ones, more like common and they're like near like the surface. Yeah. Them ones then the fishermen go like right down to get them. And so you can chuck oysters, I've heard. Yeah. We're going to see a bit of that chucking oyster action, I think. Yeah, Is that right? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> wow. Oh, God, they're huge. Yeah, they are really big. Okay, it's going to look really lovely on camera. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, my goodness, it's so good. I didn't know how oh. big they were. <laughs> yeah, they are really big from there. How's it going? Yeah, very well. Yeah. Thanks for a busy day today. I know you sold out. Yeah, nearly. literally. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> the last guy just came and got the last olive ciabatta. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's a family-run um, business, and it started about um, I think six or seven years ago in York. Um, Alan and Nikki, who are still running the, the bakery, yeah, um, started it up, and it's just grown from there really. Wow. So it looks like the uh, sort of vibe is that just the, the, the sort of home home baked bread thing, right? Yes, yeah, so it's artisan bread. We have um, night bakers who come in um, and they work through, throughout the night and then we have day bakers making the cakes during the day. Oh, wow. So it's it's almost 24 hour, it's very busy. I'm here at Moulton Cookery School with Jilly and the lovely Debbie over there. Um, and they've just been doing a lovely cookery class, haven't you, with, some, have, with yes. a group of people over there having <clears throat> some wine and some fish? It's our signature course, so our most popular. It's a masterclass of fish and seafood. Amazing. And so so six learn... hours of tuition, fun. As you can see, there's a few bottles of white yes. on the table there. Um, we don't let them have any alcohol until they finish the filling. Oh, yeah, I can see they're drinking the wine now, yeah, so they've done that they're bit. Re they're relaxing now. 
<laughs> but they've still got a long way to go. We're a team, and it's all to do with Tom, Moulton, and being yes, Yorkshire's... Yes, we met Tom earlier. Yes, so being he's Yorkshire's like food capital. Yeah, exactly. So people come for various reasons, and not only... People that like good food also like good wine, good hotels, good interiors, so the yeah. shops have developed, even the clothes shops have improved because people want More something nice. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's so beautiful in here. And, I love and it's a great place to be anyway. We're in God's own county, for goodness sake. So. We produce the wine, we add the cacao and hazelnut extract, and then we use the classic champagne method to create the bubbles. Amazing! So you're called Chocolate in a Bottle? Yes, that's the, the product name. Our company is Hudson and Bond. Oh, lovely. We're based in Sheffield. Oh, it smells amazing. Really chocolate oh, my goodness. Okay, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. That's so nice. Oh my goodness. Great, I've just dragged Michelle out because it's so busy in Groovy Moo and I'm so sorry that I have to drag you out while it's so busy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We've got, a, what's this flavour you've got there then? This one is a bubblegum. Because um, you, you wanted it, didn't you? <laughs> bubblegum flavour. And I've got coconut and white chocolate. It's absolutely rammed in there. So we'd just love to know a little bit about Groovy Moo and how it started. We use everything locally. So we've got the milk from down the road, um, all the fruit we get locally. So it's all just, it's just, Every single pan, yeah. and every one that we do is its own recipe. Wow! So it's not just literally a load of this, a load yeah. of that, and we change Mass it. Mass-produced or anything, exactly. no, it's like... And we don't put any additives on it, it's just literally, it's made fresh every day, so we don't, wow. you know, we don't sort of stockpile it or anything. So Florian and uh, me, we opened the shop two years ago. Uh, Florian is a master pâtissier and uh, he did the World Cup, represented the UK, wow. and after that he won the Sugar Prize. He decided to, to do a big jump and open this uh, lovely shop. Amazing! So everything is made uh, here in Moulton. We try to have local producer yeah. um, and we try to have the best ingredient in the world you can find. Wow! So we have regular classic macaroon because we started with the macaroon. So these are your staple dish? The yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we, the last five years we were starting to do um, the Moulton um, market yeah. and this is how we had our customer and they came and often say well when will you have your shop and then we had the opportunity Malton is the best city for yeah, this. Yeah so now you've got the sort of the wording out there is the yeah. capital of Yorkshire. It's the capital it's of the food and then we have all the foodie come to us um, and with the French touch of course. Yeah. And you're you quite are you like one of the first sort of shops here? No, the first one, no, we are right. So we're at the uh, Gourmet Egg Company, yeah, Scott's Egg Company, company yeah. and um, you've got some great eggs here. We make all the eggs ourselves. We do the mincing, we make the sausage meat, we make the flavouring, wow. we make them all by hand. And yeah, so we bring them here today to see people like them, so yeah. they go down the store. Have they been going down the store today? They have, yeah. I've run out of a few already and I'm getting a bit light on a few of them. So this is a really popular one, what was that yeah. one? that was a veggie one that we did, a sweet potato and feta. Lovely. So yeah, I bought Bailey here. So Bailey would like a treat. Yeah, nowadays. so can you tell us a bit about your biscuits? Okay, so the free from additives, preservatives, he said. <laughs> I started making them for my own dog because wow. he had an upset tummy. Yeah, eat anything. Hector. Hector, that's the one. Uh, so I started making them for him, and that started about six years ago. And from that, we started a business. So good. Yeah. So Hector helped you make the business? Uh, no, he helped me <laughs> pack them. <laughs> Scorpion cheddar gets its name from the Trinidad Scorpion chilli. It has all the chillies in there, it has the Arborio hot peppers as well in there. Um, last time I checked it was about third on the heat chart for spice, but if you would like to be brave enough and have a little try, that would be amazing. Sample. <laughs> You've already tried it. <laughs> it's still smiling. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about, oh my god, I can feel it already on my tongue. Can you feel it? Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, wow, we, yeah. We couldn't get another hot on the ticket. Yeah. No, there's, not, there's not enough room for any more hot on That's there. That's amazing. We, we normally have eight flavours, yeah. sometimes 12, when we're out and about, but we've got 30, and 30, 30 different amazing. ones. Uh, and so is it a family-run company? Uh, it's me and my sister, yeah. Oh, lovely. And you've been doing it for how long? Uh, well, four or five years as a little square cake company, yeah. Brilliant. I mean, your book looks incredible. You've all got loads of different flavours. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about Priory and how it's starts? Yes, yeah. So we're a potato farm between Weatherby and Tadcaster. So we grow potatoes usually from McCain's, McDonald's chips. 
uh, but they don't like the funny shaped ones. So that's what we use in the vodka and the gin. Really? Yes. Yeah. So they're just giving you all the off, all the uh, off cast. So yeah, because you... we're contracted to them, we can't sell them to anyone else. So we get them all back, and we can be left with loads. Especially like last year when it was really dry, they were all really little, and and they won't have them. So yeah, we decided to do something with that's them. So interesting. Yes, yeah. You've got loads of different pies here. What's your favourite pie, Pete? Uh, definitely the pork and black pudding. Definitely. Pork and black pudding, amazing. They look incredible. What's this one? Uh, pork and apple. Oh, I think I'd like that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And you've got sausage rolls. Amazing. Your Chocolate face. tarts is one of my main things, yep. which is these on the bottom shelf. They um, look they're so often cool. mistaken as a cheesecake, so I've got a good portion of reviews on Facebook that say how good my cheesecakes are because I make cheesecakes. <laughs> they're not but cheesecakes. They're very similar. Very similar. So they're like about, a biscuit yeah. base with a chocolate top. Very they nice. sound amazing, yeah, because I always find that with cheesecakes they don't have enough chocolate in, so these are the perfect balance. <laughs> that one's just won a great uh, taste award. Was it? Yeah. I can see why. Really just good. won a great taste award. I do like to test myself amazing. To see if I I'm going to be here all day, gonna, your bread's <laughs> going to be used up. It's, okay. it's mainly pork, what we do at these markets, we the joints of pork, sausages, obviously, the actual sausage, our main thing, gammon and bacon, amazing. all pork products. Yeah. And do you, do you get your farm is sort of near It's Bath? a local farm uh, near Bramsburton, near Driffield, so we're based in Driffield and the farm's about six miles away. And um, yeah, got all the pork from there, make it all ourselves, wow. make the bacon. And do you have flavour sausages or is it just sort of your yeah. main? We, we do oh, about, yeah, yeah, about 25 different flavours. Um, we always bring about 10 different ones, ranging from just a traditional pork to garlic, lamb, we do a lamb one as well, so Lovely. yeah, all sorts. Malton is a rural town surrounded by productive arable and livestock farming. It was founded on the trade in sheep and wool from the nearby Yorkshire Wolds and probably why food has become such a prolific part of its rebirth. In contrast to so many towns, its benign present landlords have taken an active role in making Malton what it is today and encouraging production of healthy, environmentally friendly food. Mmm, food. <laughs>